Fusion Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Public Relations and Customer Services The British Institute of Public Relations defines public relations as a planned and sustained effort to establish and maintain mutual understanding between an organization and the public. Public relations helps to ensure the maintenance of a favorable relationship between an organization and the public. It helps in maintaining good personal relationship with the employees. It helps to build the image of a company or organization. It also helps to increase the goodwill of a company. The media of public relations includes through exhibitions, trade fairs, gifts of free samples, cinemas, televisions and radio, feature articles, seminars, sponsored programs, charitable ventures. Exhibition is a medium through which organizations display their products to members of the public in selected places. Trade fairs are large national or international exhibitions which may be held annually or at much longer intervals. The differences between trade fair and exhibition include 1. Trade fairs are always held outdoors while exhibitions may be held indoors. Trade fairs are large in scope because they attract more firms, while exhibition is limited in scope because it attracts fewer firms. Trade fair may involve outright sale of products, while exhibition may not involve outright sales. Trade fair has wide variety of goods, while exhibition is sometimes used by one industry or one line of goods. In gifts of free samples, manufacturers of products give free goods regularly as samples or gifts to their customers to maintain goodwill. These gifts may be in form of money or materials. The gifts will have the logo of the company printed on them. The cinema. An organization can show special films in order to arouse the interest of the customers so as to build or boost the image of the company. The cinema as a media of public relations. Here, an organization can show special films in order to arouse the interest of the customers so as to build or boost the image of the company. Television is the most glamorous of all the media. Since both radio and television have large audience, an organization may establish a good image for itself by sending information as news item through them. Musical jingles and documentary films can also be presented, which go a long way to boost the image of a company. A feature article is a medium of public relations which is concerned with the publication in the national dailies or magazines information about the company's products, its quality, uses, and benefits. Also included is information about the caliber of management team, investment capacity, and profitability. Seminars, workshops, and conferences as a media of public relations. Here, an organization can organize seminars and press conferences to highlight its various activities to the general public. This will bring the company closer to the consuming public and it will boost their image. Sponsored programs. To build a good self-image for itself, a company can sponsor programs like sporting competitions, live telecasts of sporting events, for example, the football match. There are various examples like the Coca-Cola Challenge Cup and the Pepsi Professional Football League in Nigeria. Charitable Ventures as a Media of Public Relations here, a firm can contribute financially to charitable organizations. They can donate money to motherless children's homes, 
spinal cord injury society, disabled homes, etc. Also, by participating in the local community affairs and contributing financially to community projects or development, the image of a company can receive a boost. A company can create for itself a favorable impression in the minds of their customers by rendering customer services. By listening to the customer's complaints, their patronage may be retained. This will in no small measure boost their images. Such services like servicing or maintenance are public relation tools. Customer services. Customer services are services which a company can adopt in order to attract customers to their business and to endear itself to them. This helps in facilitating trading activities. Customer services can be divided into two and they include the pre-sale services and the after-sale services. Pre-sale services are those services provided to the customers before the goods are bought. The services include the granting of credit, sorting of goods, availability of goods, assisting to set up storage facilities, provision of sufficient information about the product. While after sales services include the home delivery, the free installation services, the servicing, repairs and maintenance, provision of spare parts, provision of free device on use, and the free repair of faulty parts under guarantee.